Alrighty, what's going on today, you guys? So today I want to talk to you about buying KRK Rockets secondhand, and uh, and really any any studio monitor secondhand for that matter. Um, a little bit of uh, background on KRK, just in case you are not familiar with them. Uh, KRK began manufacturing studio monitors back in 2003, um, and those are their Generation 1 studio monitors. They are uh, currently now in 2020 in their Generation 4 models, um, and you are looking at the KRK Rocket G4-8s right now. Uh, the 8 stands for 8-inch uh, low-frequency driver, um, and they are also a subsidiary of the Gibson Company, um, which for those of you who are fans of, of uh, what Gibson does, that might be a, a cool little fact. Um, yeah, so KRK, uh, they've come a long way. They make great studio monitors, um, but you know, for a lot of people who are either on a budget or just like the idea of secondhand buying, uh, you might be interested in picking some up used. Uh, which is totally cool, but uh, there are some things to look out for um, when you're doing so. Uh, so, for starters, there are a number of different places where you can buy a KRK Rocket secondhand. Um, one place that I like to look a lot is Reverb. Uh, Reverb is, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, an online um, uh, buying and selling site that's very similar to eBay, although it is totally music-centric. Um, so here you can find um, you know, all kinds of music gear from studio monitors to guitars to synthesizers to guitar pedals and uh, beyond. Um, the great thing about Reverb is that because it's a community of musicians and of producers and mix engineers and such, uh, the gear is typically pretty high quality um, in, in terms of uh, its condition. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're going to be able to find um, studio monitors and KRK rocket monitors on there that are in really, really good condition. And the cool thing is you can look all over the country to find them um, or even outside the country, uh, which can give you just different options for purchasing, um, you know, and, and you, you basically just get a wider range uh, to look at. Uh, and that way you can find the best monitors uh, for your needs and uh, for your budget. Now, of course, you do have eBay um, and other online buying sites like such. Uh, Amazon, you can also find used um, studio monitors on there. Of course, it's a little less buyer-centric or, or music-centric, um, but uh, but eBay is is fairly buyer-centric too. So, you, uh, you know, uh, you're not going to have to worry about uh, the possibility of maybe buying studio monitors that uh, are kind of beat uh, or are broken in any way. Because if you do and they come in a condition that wasn't specified, um, you will be able to get a refund, uh, which is just a good peace of mind to have. Now, of course, there are other options like Craigslist where you can just find um, uh, KRK rocket monitors or any other types of studio monitors within your area. Um, and, you know, you can put out a 20, 40, 50 mile radius um, and go and pick them up or have them delivered to you if, if the person offers that. Now, of course, the thing with, uh, with Craigslist and other um, similar platforms is that there is no uh, warranty. Uh, essentially, if you buy something um, and it doesn't work, you just have to rely on the goodness of the person to um, either give you a refund or help you fix it. Um, so, you know, when you are buying studio monitors, uh, off of Craigslist or something similar, make sure to go to their house and test them out if possible, or have them bring them to you so you can test them out before you purchase them. Make sure that everything's running up to speed. Make sure the volume, um, is, is good. Make sure that there are no cracks or pops. Uh, make sure that, you know, the outside looks, um, fairly fine. You know, you can maybe normal wear and tear if you're okay with that, but, uh, you don't want, you know, anything like ripped cones or speakers or, uh, you know, anything of that matter, bad um, outlets in the back. So just make sure to to look very thoroughly if you're buying used um, from a, uh, a platform like that. Uh, all right, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for me. Uh, if you have any insights into where is the best place or where is not the best place to buy KRK Rocket monitors used uh, or secondhand, or if you have uh, any other questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments. All right, take it easy.